All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna start uh, working on some of these grooves on the back end of the handle, then we'll move our way to the bottom. So uh, without further ado, let's go to create sketch in the right view, select the 2D plane or background, and let's start getting some of this, uh, some of this tracing done. So I'll use the fit point spline. And if you don't see it up above, you'll hit the create drop down, go to spline, and it's the first one here. Then we'll just start to follow these shapes. And once we have one, we're done. We can actually just uh, duplicate this. So we'll control C, control V, copy paste that. And we'll move this down here below. Right click it OK once it's in position. And then we'll control V to paste another here. Right click hit OK. And lastly, we'll paste one more with Control V. And that's right click hit OK. And actually, we can reposition this one. Now let's split the body. So we'll go to Finish Sketch, Modify, Split Body. We'll select this body here, this back piece. For the splitting tool, we'll choose all of these splines. Let's hit OK. If we toggle off the canvas, we'll see what we have here. A nice cutout shape. So now that we made these slices, what we can now do is press pull this. And what you don't want to do is pull it from um, the outside rings because if we try to do that, you'll quickly see that we'll get something like this, which is an error. So we'll hit cancel. And we want to press pull these in. We want to pull them by the center piece here. So we'll select the center point, press pull. And we can actually grab multiple and bring them inwards. And you'll quickly see we get that offset that we want. And once satisfied, we'll just hit OK. Now we have this shape and this looks really well. I like that, it looks really good. So next we'll start uh, by toggling back on our canvas and let's start working on this base here. So first thing, uh, first I do want to start um, rounding this off. So I'll hit F to enter fillet mode and then we'll start to grab these surfaces. So I'll grab this top one I'm going to grab one at a time so I can get uh, values for each one individually. So I'll round that first corner off, right click hit OK. Then I'll right click, move up to repeat fillet, and I'll round off this bottom one here. And this is going to be a slight bend somewhere around here. Hit F to fill it again, and we'll grab the bottom two corners and round those off together. Right click hit OK. And now what I want to do is split this body. So I'll select the surface, create sketch. And I'll just follow the reference, which is a line that starts somewhere around here. We'll drag it. And I do want to bring this down a bit to about here. Choose the line tool once again, and I'll just exclude this rounded surface and pull it up and out. And for this back line here, I'll right click, hit repeat line, and I'll just follow this upward. So from this point, I'll make a slight, slight arc and then go up from here. Right click, hit OK. I want to slide this backwards to somewhere around here. Because I want to go beyond this body above. This is a good line, and I'll split it by this line. Let's bring this back here. I want to match up this curvature here. And 
And actually we can go without this line, so I'll actually just trim that off. Trim this one as well. And I'll do a nice arc. So I'll go to create arc, three point arc. We can just do a nice curvature here. Now we can go to finish sketch, modify split body, select our body. And the splitting tool will be this line that we created. Hit OK. And we can uh, round this off later on, this sharp corner. What I now want to do is rotate around and hit F to go to fillet mode. And I want to round off these corners here. Because we can see in the reference that it's nice and rounded. So once we have the size we want, the, we'll hit OK. And then we can combine these if we like. So we can go to Modify, Combine. Combine the main body here with this piece on top. And we can actually combine this body as well. So we'll hit Join. And then I'll hit F to enter fill it one more time and I'll add a nice transition here at the border where these two intersect to get that nice manufactured welding. Once you're satisfied with that, we'll hit OK and we'll do the same once more around this border. So hit F, select our border, we'll bring this down. Let's hit OK. And let's hit F once again, and we'll add one more transition here at the bottom, the bottom line. So get a nice transition going here. The nice welding marks. I said OK. So what I'll do lastly is toggle off this bottom uh, body by going to the body drop down and toggling it off. Now we can see what we're working with over here. And this looks really good. So we can add a nice um, rounded surface here in the back. So let's hit F to enter for that mode. Select the, not this face, but we'll select this corner, this corner, the bottom two corners, and we'll round these off together. To get this nice smooth transition. This looks good. So we'll hit OK. Let's go back to the right view. And we can get some of this detail here as well before we take off. So let's select the surface, go to create sketch. And we're going to use a two point rectangle to match these together. We'll just double click to select any of these lines. Control C, Control V to copy paste and we'll move this along this way. Right click it OK. And let's slide this over to match the reference. We can slide this one over as well. Right click it OK. And let's just fill it this all these corners so we'll grab the fillet icon. Let's round these off. Let's dial this back a bit so it's not too apparent. What I want to do is right click, hit OK. Shift select both of these profiles, right click, press pull. And I want to press pull these towards the model a bit so we get a nice cut. But instead of uh, having it on cut, we'll change it to new body. Hit OK. And I want to mirror these to the opposite end by going to create, mirror. Ensure the type is set to bodies, and we'll select the last two bodies here. One, two, which are these two. For the mirror plane, we'll rotate around. Make sure we're in the right view and select this front facing plane. And it's our new body. We'll hit OK. Now let's combine these to get a nice cut. So we'll go to Modify Combine, select our main body, and then we'll select the four bodies at the bottom. One, two, three, four which are these four, which we can't see because it's unjoined. So we're going to change it from joint to cut. And now it's more apparent 
what we just did and we'll hit OK. So now that that's done, I think this is a good place to uh, end the video and we'll continue in the next one.